Henry! I'm so sorry, Dorian. Is Gwendolyn upset? Gwendolyn? Why, no. That girl of yours, Sybil Vane. <laughs> That's no problem, Henry. I thought you'd be in a terrible state. I was. Then I, I decided I'm going to marry her. I'm calling her now to... Well, Seth, listen. You obviously don't know. Sybil is dead, Dorian. Dead? Last night, sir. Um, I don't believe it. She threw herself. It's too horrible. Where would they have taken her? There'll be an inquest, of course. So far, your name hasn't been mentioned. Please keep out of it, Dorian. It's too painful. You must try and forget it. Why should she do such a thing? We agreed not to own each other. Well, she wanted to own and to be owned. When women fail in that desperate game, they often destroy instead. I knew. Yes, I knew. She was unstable. But to do such a thing to me... It's not your fault, Dorian. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. If a hysterical girl no, no, decides Henry, to... You, you don't know anything. Something's happening to me. Something terrible. Why should it be my fault because a girl kills herself because she was disillusioned? I was disillusioned too. What was I supposed to do? Now, Dorian, keep your head. It's nothing to do with you. Look. We are all responsible for our own lives and nothing else. You understand me, Dorian? Ourselves and nothing, nothing else. Everything is yours. Take it. Enjoy it. Someone has killed herself for love of you. I envy you. The people who've loved me, very few, but there were some, were obstinate and lived. They've become fat and boring, and when I meet them, they go in for reminiscences, recalling the past. That's wretched. I don't feel the pain I ought to feel about Sybil. I honestly don't. I feel sorry, of course, but that's all. You were already tiring of her. You deserve more out of life than Sybil could bring you. Much more. You deserve much, much more. <laughs>